Hello, welcome to Wolfway TV. Thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be alert whenever I drop a new video. But if you've been coming here and you have never subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be officially part of the Wolfway TV family. Thank you so much for doing this. Guys, today we are going to talk about the Vista Bulletin. The first Vista Bulletin for the DV 2023 fiscal year has been published, all right? And this is going to be for the uh, case numbers that will be current for the month of September, all right? So um, if this is the first time that you're hearing about Vista Bulletin, I'm just going to give you just a brief um, explanation of what the Vista Bulletin is. So the Visa Bulletin is something that is published by um, um, the Visa office. They allocate uh, a certain number of visas for uh, based on the case number cutoff point or the uh, priority date cutoff point. All right. And so uh, since we are just dealing with DV Lurie, we will just focus on the case number cutoff point. For other um, green card processes, might be the priority date but even Ludwig it is the case number cutoff point so what it means is that whenever you look at the visa bulletin you look at based on your region that you fall under we already know that we have six regions so based on the region that you fall under you look at your case number and then you look at the cutoff point if your number falls below that cutoff point that means that your case number is current okay based on that uh, Vista Bulletin. So like the one that is being published today for uh, this month, um, it will be current for the month of December, uh, September, sorry, it will be current for the month of September. So since I've given a brief uh, explanation, and of course it is published uh, every uh, month somewhere around the 11th, it looks like this one has come in a little early, but always it's around 11, 15, okay? So let's get right into it. So looking at the Visa Bulletin um, that's being published for the DV 2023, um, the, uh, if your case number contains AF, so you look at the African column, the cutoff point is 5,700. So that means that if your case number for AF region, if your case number has AF, it doesn't matter where you are located, where you intend to go for your interview. You look at your case number, if it contains AF, if the cutoff point is below 5,700, that means that your case number is going to be current in the month of September. When it's current, know that if your case has been processed and it's in queue for interviews and your embassy has the capacity to start working, to start scheduling, then there's a good possibility that you could be scheduled for interview, okay? Remember that the interview scheduling, interview, uh, actual interview will start taking place starting uh, October, okay? Um, but if you're from Egypt, you're from Algeria if you're from Morocco you guys you're not going to look at the AF even if your case number has AF so if you're from Morocco if your chargeability so whether you are a national of Morocco or Algeria or Egypt or if you are charged to any of these countries you're not going to look at the entire African number if you're for um, Algeria it is going to be 5,600 so if your case number is below 5,600, it's going to be current for the month of September. But if it's any number above 5,600, even though you have AF, you're not going to look at the AF region number. You're just going to look at your country, okay, where you are charged to, all right? And if you want to know how, uh, which country you are charged to, look at your first notification letter, okay? You will see the country that you are charged to. So that will be your first clue, all right? If you're from Morocco, the uh, the cutoff point is 5,600. So you look at the same number. But if you're from Egypt, the cutoff point is going to be 1,700. So Egyptians, 1,700. Morocco and Algeria is 5,600. And then the rest of AF region will be 5,700. Now let's go to the Asia region. If your case number contains AS, the cutoff point is going to be 2,800. So 
all the case numbers below 2800 that is uh, your case numbers are going to be current in the month of September however from Iran the cutoff point is going to be 2500 so the rest of Asia AS region is going to be 2800 Iran is 2500 Nepal is 1450 so if you are a Nepali or you're charged to Nepal then you're not going to look at the AS cutoff point you're going to look at your country okay if you're from Iran you're going to look at your country you're not going to look at the cutoff point for the entire Asia region right if you're from Europe then the cutoff point is going to be 5700 just like Africa all right but then there are a couple of countries that have been uh, separated from Europe this wasn't the case in the previous years okay so these countries are Russia and Uzbekistan okay so if you're from Russia the cutoff point is going to be 5600 if you're from Uzbekistan the cutoff point is also going to be 5600 guys you know an interesting thing to note is that uh, several of these countries that have been separated uh, they are among the top um, nationalities who have received visas for um, DV 2022 okay I'm going to bring that analysis pretty soon share for you two guys uh, for you guys to see it because when we're looking at the nationalities who are getting more of the DV visas, Morocco is among the top 10, Algeria is among the top 10, Russia is among the top 10, Uzbekistan is among the top 10. All right. So, hey, uh, guys, um, I don't know if it's something that interests you. But, okay, so let's go to um, NA region, which is the North American region. North American region has only one country, and that is Bahamas. Okay, so if you're from Bahamas, the cutoff point is four. So if your case number is below four, it's going to be current for the month of September, right? So if your case has been processed, you submitted your DSVC, has been processed, your embassies are ready to work and they have you know availability and they're ready to go. Um, there's a good possibility that you could be getting your interview soon. Okay, when I say soon, I'm not saying this month. I'm thinking about maybe from September. So that because some people are going to get their interviews appointment later in September so that they can start their actual interview in October. All right. From the SA region, which is South America and the Caribbean, if your case number contains SA, then the cutoff point is going to be 500. So it means that if your case number falls below 500, your case number is going to be current for the month of September. And you know, the same thing goes for y'all too. If your embassy is ready to work, your case has been processed, is ready for interview, there's a good possibility that you could be getting an interview early the, uh, towards the end of this year. Okay? So, guys, that is the information for the Visa Bulletin for 2023, the first Visa Bulletin which, uh, for uh, the month of September. All right? But let's compare to last year, okay? last year let's see last year around this time what was happening so last year around this time the cutoff point for af region which is africa was uh 2675 and now it's 5700 that is like double okay so hey i know a lot of you know things have gone on gone wrong and you know the dv 2022 uh time period but um hopefully this increase means that there's going to be a lot of positive news as we can see that you know things have derailed since um, 2020 and then coming up but we have seen an increase in the number of visas that have been issued um a lot of embassies still are facing challenges of scheduling on time and making you know um dedicating good amount of time for dv celebrities you know even if you're going to be fair with every other group okay but guys um if you look at the visa bulletin for you know like i said last year around this time for dv 2022 europe last year around this time was 2300 2300 now is 5700 um asia was 1400 this year is 2800 so that's double so it looks like the numbers increase 
North America is four uh, is uh, last year was three this year is four so it's just increase of one all right and then when you look at um, South America it was 375 and then now it's 500 so you can see the difference but of course some of the differences that are most notable uh, will be last year um, the only country that was separated from the uh, AF region was Egypt um, and now we have Algeria and Morocco that have been added to the bunch and then when you look at Europe um, there was no other country that was separated they were all together as one um, but now you see uh, Russia has been taken out uh, Uzbekistan has been given their own um, uh, cut off point so those are some differences but when you look at the numbers it looks like there's a slight improvement in the previous years but you know at the end of the day um, we hope that the embassies will perform because this is you know good news that you know the more cases will be ready earlier in the year but then at the end of the day we want the embassies to you know just get to it get to it get a lot done all right but guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video i hope that this helps you understand it a little bit um but dv 2022 guys i'm not done with you guys i have a couple of videos that i wanted to share with you before the end of your fiscal year but i know there's a lot of you have a lot of reason you know and they are valid to be uh disappointed to want to give up but guys, for me, I will tell you, don't give up until the midnight of September 30th. Don't give up until the midnight of September 30th because anything could happen from now to September 30th. So don't give up. Even though you have 1,000 reasons to give up now, don't give up yet, okay? But DV 2023, welcome aboard. Um, just uh, take note, uh, take a lot of lessons from give you 2022 and hopefully you make the right decisions along the way i wish you the best uh follow me on facebook follow me on twitter instagram Hopefully tv subscribe to my youtube channel join my facebook groups uh, greek out africa greek out with ghana greek out with winners moving to america slash for tv guys if you're on tiktok a clear hour for there mostly i do uh, my video i make my videos in three um so if you're getting in and you want to follow me there go ahead and do it but guys thank you so much for sticking around watching my video i'll see you on my next video bye bye